Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this morning's live. Uh, this morning, we're going to be talking about how to uh, decorate any blank walls that you have at home, how to hang art, um, and you know the right heights. And I'm very uh, lucky to have gallery owner Catherine O'Riordan of So Fine Art Editions joining me this morning. So Catherine's going to be giving us all of her tips and. Uh, expertise to help you all make sure that those pictures are hung absolutely perfectly. Art is such an amazing way to add the finishing touches to your home. Um, I know when we're doing our work, often sometimes even the schemes can come from a painting. Even the artwork behind me here is, is sort of what's inspired the colour scheme in my own home. So it really is such a wonderful way to um, make your scheme feel really, really cohesive. So hopefully today we're going to inspire you um, to work with the pieces that you have. And also we want to talk a little bit about how to go about buying art. Because I think a lot of people feel that, you know, art is a really expensive investment and of course it can be, but there are ways to start a collection um, with much smaller budgets and it is a fabulous way to invest your money. And especially now, it's such a wonderful way to support so many of the amazing artists that we have um, here in Ireland. So uh, I'm going to invite Catherine now to join me. So we just wait for her uh, to connect. And we've also got some great images, Catherine. Oh, show. Good morning. Hi, Catherine. Good Please. morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. And I would like to thank you for this opportunity uh, oh, to talk pleasure. about artworks, collections, mm -hmm. hanging. So you can go ahead and start with your questions. Fantastic. Well, no, look, it is so fabulous. And thank you for giving up your Saturday morning uh, to share your expertise, because it's something, Catherine, that we get asked about all the time, as you well know. We, we often lean on your expertise. Um, and I guess I, I kind of touched on it briefly in the intro, just anybody looking to invest in art. You know, often people are terrified because they're, you know, they're afraid, they're intimidated Absolutely. by the galleries. You know, they think it's yes. going to be really expensive. But yeah. that's not the case. So we, no. we'll, we'll, we'll come to that uh, maybe a little bit. And you've shared yeah. some gorgeous pictures, which we'll share with people as well. Thank you. Um, but just to start with, I suppose, the, the one big question, and like we, we got lots of people uh, asking the same questions, was rules of thumb for positioning art. Because um, the biggest mistake that I often see is people hanging things too high. Yes. So are there measurements that, that you can give people um, to help and them? It's, it's not too difficult. Um, mm. Normally, to avoid hanging too high, you would hang at eye level, that is, the middle of the picture is your midpoint or should be at your eye level. And that avoids okay. that overhanging too high. Mm -hmm. So to achieve that, you there is a standard midpoint that museums use. And I think it was 61 inches. But now it's about 1.4, 1 1.5 uh, mil, uh, meters from mm -hmm. the floor up. So mark that on your wall with a little pencil mark. Lovely. Then you measure the length of your picture and you divide it by two. So you start at your midpoint and go up that half measurement or half okay. the length of your picture, mm. mark the top. Then it's good to have someone with you actually mm. as well. And they mm. can hold the picture up where the top should be, where you've marked. And mm. you can stand back and look and say, yes, that's a good height. Mm -hmm. So you can go a little bit above or a little bit below, um, but then adjust your midpoint accordingly. Yeah. Also, this is very important when you're hanging works of different sizes. So by, by establishing a midpoint, you're in fact centering each piece to each other. So mm -hmm. it looks quite professional, as like you see it in, in a gallery. And mm -hmm. you're not matching, say, the top of a frame with the top of the next frame or the bottom. Yeah. So you're centering each piece. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, that's basically how you go about positioning. Brilliant. So that's a great tip, actually, that they run along the center line because people yes. might be inclined to line up the tops of the frames. And yeah, well, they yeah, don't know what to position the next one. Once they've hung one, they go, well, where do I go from here? By yeah. establishing that midpoint, they know exactly where they're going. Mm -hmm. No, that's really good. OK, really brilliant. And Catherine, one of the questions we got from somebody was they're looking to, to buy something, but they just don't know what size. So how to go about picking the size well good good thing is um take fo take a photograph of the room mm -hmm. uh, measure your wall um mm -hmm. and then 
you know, take your time. Don't rush. Oh, I have to have a picture on the wall. Mm. Um, go, you know, go to the, your galleries or whatever. And, you know, you can cut, actually, a good way is to cut a sheet of brown paper or newspaper and pin it on the wall to get an mm. idea of what size you like. Okay, and that would give you a rough tip. idea. And also mm. framing, take into account framing. It would, it would add on maybe 10 to 15 centimetres all around. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from that point of view, that's, that's what you would do. Yeah, the brown paper is a great tip. I mean, we'd often give that to people with, for furniture, just to see how pieces oh, would work I in the see. space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's a brilliant tip, actually, because then you could really see what the impact is going to be exactly. like. Exactly. And if yeah, you need yeah. piece or, you know, I mean, sometimes hanging a big piece and a small piece beside it sometimes can work. Yeah, you know, sure. as I say, the, the paper works, that, 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 that you can try that as well. That's a brilliant tip. Brilliant. Okay, amazing. And then another one is like people might have lots and lots of artworks that they have stacked away and they're just, you know, meaning to hang them up, but they're reluctant because of the frames, because the frames don't all match. Okay. Is that a thing? Can that Not can necessarily. Work? Again, it's, um, it can make, you know, it can make a wall stand out if you're putting mm -hmm. uh, different frames together, make it look more interesting. Mm -hmm. A good rule of thumb is, so they, you know, to make sure they're not screaming at each other, is lay them against a wall mm -hmm. and put them beside each other and, and mix them around. You know, take, again, I keep saying this, take your time. Yeah. And, you know, you could walk away, come back, maybe swap them around again, or lay them all on the floor sometimes. It's good. And you can look down and you can say, oh, no, well, that one doesn't work with that. Or mm -hmm. you could try, you know, working a, a similar colour if you have a few pieces that might have different frames, but there's a common theme of color or subject matter would also mm. work. Again, mm -hmm. dark frames together maybe, you know, mm. again, trust, trust your taste, trust your judgment. Brilliant, so yeah, you can kind of, even if you have different frames, as long as the colors of the artworks, that can be your unifying thing that yeah, brings them all together. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, fabulous, yeah, no, brilliant. And then a uh, massive question we're getting, and I think a lot of people were, were creating these at home over all this time that we've been spending at home, are gallery walls. Okay. And, and, you know, tips about doing that, because I know like I'd be pretty impatient, so I'd be quite inclined to just go <laughs> hammering nails in, um, but I know yeah. you have fabulous tips for, for making it yeah. look really, really well. Well, really, where you, you're putting your gallery wall is important, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A gallery wall takes, or a salon wall, takes up the, practically the full wall. So mm -hmm. you're not going to use a large wall, say, in your sitting room or dining room, where you might want a focal piece. So mm -hmm. that, to me, that's what I'd advise. I would take mm -hmm. a stairwell or a nice alcove and, you know, make an interesting wall because you're creating a whole wall, remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then what you do, again, you can lay everything on the floor mm -hmm. and start with one dominant piece and then radiate out from that. Okay. And you don't have to be particular about spaces in between. They can be less or more. Again, working on the floor is great. You mm -hmm. know, keep working on it. Lay it out. Take a photograph mm -hmm. with your phone so you can remember what pieces went where. Mm -hmm. Again, you can cut out the sizes of the pieces and lay them on the floor as well if you want exact yeah. measurements. Mm -hmm. um, you, the important thing is once you have your final composition, mm -hmm. measure it, the length and the width, and then you can get a large sheet of paper and put that on your wall to make sure, does it all fit? Do I need Fabulous. less? Do I need okay. more? Because yeah. you can, or else draw a picture of it on a piece of paper, mm. you know, yeah. each square representing a picture. Mm. So you can get a feel for how it's going to look before putting a nail in the wall. Brilliant. So you're literally treating the whole composition as one big yes, piece. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, and no, that's, that's the trick. And you can reduce it, take away, or you can add to it and take your yeah. time with it, you yeah. know, and yeah. photograph each one. So you can say, oh, no, I prefer the first composition as Lovely. opposed to the second. Yeah. yeah. Gina, it sounds like a great, a great little uh, project for someone to take on, actually. And it a wonderful is. way, I, yes, to use you know, those little ones that you might not exactly. know what to do and with. Is, yeah. I agree. It is for mm. small pieces, grouping yeah. small pieces together. Yeah. And you yeah. can involve the family as well. You can say, well, yeah. what do you like? You know, and yeah. I think that's yeah. a nice sort of joint effort um, activity. 
gorgeous. Well, I actually did something years ago when my eldest, he was, oh my God, he was producing artwork like you wouldn't believe. And the kid, like he, he loved them. He wanted to stick everything on the wall. <laughs> so course. that's what we did. We got a load of Ikea frames and covered his walls as a little gallery wall. Well, and we used to swap them around then. So it was oh, great. It was yeah, really, really fun. Idea. Yeah, it was lovely. Excellent really lovely. idea. Really good. Brilliant. And then um, family photos, Catherine, because I know like we, we, we come up against this all the time. People have so many of them, you know, of course and, they do. and how to display them. And they are so beautiful and so many yeah, memories absolutely. and things, but absolutely. They, they're not going to work in every single space. So no. would you have any advice for that? Well, again, make a salon wall is really nice. You know, yeah. um, again, I, uh, you don't want to overdo it either because you want your artwork as well. But you know, if you have mm -hmm. interesting photos, it's always good to, when, when you're looking at anything, you're looking, remember, mm -hmm. you know, so it's nice to mix it up and mm -hmm. get some interesting shots in there. Uh, again, you know, as I said, don't overdo it. You can also, in bookshelves, it's great to put one or two photographs among books, I think looks Lovely. really nice. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. basically, yeah, j just pick your favorite ones and show them. Great. And I guess you can rotate them as well. Yeah, you know, exactly. you could yeah, exactly. play around with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you know, people are changing and it's different occasions, etc. Great. Brilliant. And what I might do, Catherine, because I have a few images just of stuff we've done, but it might be helpful for people yes, um, just to see. So like over the bed, I suppose you can see here yeah. again, because yes. I know you have some dimensions. So it's similar with over a sofa and stuff. So yeah, I mean, you can, there you sort of hung it off center, which looks kind of interesting, I think. You don't mm -hmm. always have to center a piece, say to the bedstead or over the couch. You can go yes. slightly off center and it kind of gives yeah. a different angle and it makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing a piece over your couch, just make sure that when somebody sits back, that your head isn't touching the artwork. Yes. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Practical yeah. things like that. If, yeah. Another thing, if you're hanging any artworks, in, uh, any paintings, say, in a kitchen or an, any works, make sure they're framed because a painting can, can gather, say, steam or, you know, from cooking, you know, it can, it can damage the, the first, you know, the top layer of a painting. So my advice is make sure you frame everything in a kitchen or where you're cooking. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, a hallway is great. You know, when you walk in, impact um, the top of the stairs is interesting but you can as I say trust your own taste and take your time mm -hmm. you know um I don't know whether you're going to mention you know and people are sort of trying to put you know it's daunting when they have a lot of works and where do I put them yes uh, yeah I, I really think you really need to take your time uh, pick one room yeah. and just do that room mm -hmm. and before you hang anything lay it against the wall lay a few pieces beside each other what you think works and leave it and come back and then swap them around. Walk away, Brilliant. come yeah. back, swap yeah. again. It yeah. could take you yeah. a few days. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, go trust your judgment, but you sure. do, do take your time. Yeah. No, no, no. It's great advice. And I mean, you know, especially if they are, uh, you know, if you're, you're investing in pieces. Yes. Uh, this is something that, you, you know, you want to be able to to live with for a long time. So yeah, you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. Exactly. And also yeah. if you make a mistake, so what? It's only a little hole. You can fill it and repaint or it. Or swap and something around. will cover your mistake anyway. So, exactly. I, you, know, don't, you know, don't freak out. It's fine. Definitely. Brilliant. Yeah, no, great. And I kind of show this image here just because this really did lead to the entire color scheme of this kitchen. So it oh, was, wow. you know, they, they can be a great starting point for people as well. You know, Absolutely. If they're, oh no, they're it's, struggling. It's yeah, it compliments. It's, it's as important as your furniture, you know, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Because, you know, the artwork works on your emotions, on your mm -hmm. moods, on your feel-good factors. So, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. I hang my favorite pieces in my bedroom because I wake up every day. It puts me in good mood. You know, so things like that. It's, it's, it's more than just, you know, as I say, a picture. It's, 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 it works with you. Yeah, no, no, that's great. And I think you're dead right. They should be in places, your favorite pieces should be yes. in places where you're going to see them. Exactly. Uh, rather than putting the good stuff in, in a room that you don't go into, you know, like exactly. the good room. Exactly. Like that's not really what you want to do. So, no, 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 you need to yeah. enjoy it. You definitely yeah, do. Definitely. And then I know there'll be a lot of people, maybe people who are renting and things. Now, this is uh, um, something that we did, but they were sort of nervous about hanging. So they wanted to play around with a few bits and pieces. So we literally yeah. just propped this up. Um, 
But it's yep. it's another way that you can kind of do it uh, exactly. without having to hammer nails in and yeah. just live with it for a while and, and That's, see. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Like bookshelves out there, I was going to suggest that, mantelpieces. Also, if you have a very large piece, you can just lean it against the wall, say in a bedroom. Lovely, exactly. Night, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I know 3M do some hanging things that don't damage walls as well. So that's, uh, or a picture, picture rail, but a picture rail you have to, install as well so i'm not too sure about that yes but, uh, yeah. yeah so brilliant that's great and then this here just an example of propping them up on a on a shelf like you were talking about yes. before yes no, that that's... looks really good yeah yeah that's or a sideboard if you have something to sort of hold it at the back you can just sit it on a sideboard Fantastic. Yeah, mm. brilliant. So, Catherine, I'm looking for these images here, but for some reason, they're not coming up in my feed, the beautiful ones that you sent me. Oh, yes. Um, some of that. So I'll just try and see if I can find them here. I might just okay. pull them up on this, maybe, if I can't, and I'll see if I can show people. Um, because, yeah, we wanted to talk a little bit just about uh, buying art, and I think yeah. it is fascinating. You know, do you want to talk a little bit about that, how it can be so yeah. affordable? Well, um, Basically, first of all, you're starting off. You say, oh, you know, where do I go? What do I do? My advice, I think, is go to museums. I mean, we're very lucky in Ireland. All our national yeah. museums are free. Uh, yes. Hugh Lane, uh, Chester yeah. Beatty, yeah. Uh, Emma, National Gallery. Um, and, and then, you know, to get a feel for what kind of art you like, you know, mm. uh, you can go online and find out who's showing. Uh, don't be intimidated. Just enjoy it. Just say to yourself, I'm going to have a nice time. Go to mm -hmm. a friend. Then Google um, art galleries in Dublin. Mm -hmm. And art galleries are friendly places, actually. They're, they shouldn't, they're not intimidating. They shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. um, you can browse. You can ask questions. Uh, go, join their mailing list. Very important. Get on. So you can actually, if you like a, a, a certain type of art, you can actually maybe meet the artist on the opening night. Ask nice. questions. I mean, yeah. make it an enjoyable experience in that a good is. environment. And yeah. galleries are there. That's their, you know, that's their expertise. You mm -hmm. know, they should answer all your questions, you know. And as I say, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, look online. Uh, look at all the websites. Find out what kind of art you like, whether you like figurative or abstract or colourful or muted or seascapes, landscapes. Um, you know, there's so much to choose from. But go mm -hmm. with your gut, literally go with your instinct. What makes you feel good? What, you know, what, you don't have to explain in words why you like a piece of art, but it's mm -hmm. good to say why you don't like it as well. I mean, you have, a, you have taste like everyone else. Mm -hmm. And there's a famous saying by Joan Miro, where he said, um, you know, you could look at a piece of art for a week and it's gone, forgetting about, you've forgotten about it. Yet mm -hmm. you could look at a piece of art for a second and think of it all of your life. So... Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's really what's working with you, I think. And, you know, my advice is to enjoy, find out what you like. Start with um, a good way is emerging artists. You know, you can acquire paintings from emerging artists at affordable prices. Um, you can also, original fine art prints are a great way to start. Uh, great. You can yeah. get like you know, well-known Irish painters. They make uh, original fine art prints with the master printer. These are not reproductions of their paintings. These are original okay. artworks in their own right, uh, hand editioned on handmade paper. Mm -hmm. And they are in a limited edition, but the image you're buying is an original image. So that's important, not to be confused with reprodu reproductions. Photographs okay. also, photography is becoming more and more popular and mm -hmm. it is you know, highly regarded as an art form. Um, what else? Unique works on paper are also uh, more affordable, say, than paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's lots of different ways of, of collecting. But, you know, as they say, buy what you love. Everyone says that. Mm -hmm. But also make sure you're getting value for money. That's mm -hmm. my advice. Okay. And like some of these prints, Catherine, like they start from what? What would people... You like can them? buy an original print from as low as 80 euro. My goodness. Okay. Yes. Amazing. That's absolutely and, amazing. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. again, uh, the gallery will, will tell you all the different mediums from etchings mm. to lithographs to woodcuts, lino cuts, and then you get a mono type or mono print, which is, they just make one on mm -hmm. the, on the, on the, on the press. So, mm -hmm. you know, you've plenty, and also each, each print medium 
gives you a different result. So a lithograph or a screen print will be more painterly, say, than an etching. An etching is very graphic. It's um, okay. quite figurative. Yeah. You can see the lines etched into a copper plate as opposed mm -hmm. to creating um, a lithograph with a waxy crayon or mm. a monotype where you're literally painting on the plate or, or a carborundum. But again, mm. you know, go in, look and enjoy. Fabulous. Well, look, I'm going to see. Hopefully this works. This is a beautiful okay. uh, one that you've sent me from Mary O'Connor. I don't know if can people yes, see that. So yes, it's really yes. uh, vibrant, vibrant, colorful. Uh, yeah, her works are just beautiful. beautiful. And like, I, I really love following her on Instagram. She's yes. just fantastic. I have some pieces I'm lucky enough to see Great. in Great. my hall and they literally do do that. They just bring me joy every time I walk past you them. Go. There you you know, um, and I think that's another one. Oh, no, sorry. It's not and Mary's sorry. having a show with us later in the year. Unfortunately, I had to postpone mm -hmm. all our shows, but I'm not cancelling them. And that's another, that's a screen print. The first one was uh, an oil on canvas. So Mary paints as well as makes prints. And you'll find that with some artists. Mm -hmm. So that's a lovely. So that'll be on show in our forthcoming sh uh, exhibition later in the year. Keep an eye on the website and we'll, we'll be posting dates, etc. Amazing, amazing. And then you, you sent me some of these, which are, again, oh, yeah. really they're beautiful. stunning. Uh, yeah. They're Tom Phelan. Tom, Tom Phelan, Phelan yeah. is an Irish artist. He's also a master printer. He mm -hmm. make, But these are paintings, very beautiful paintings. And he was our first show that we had to postpone. So he'll be on, uh, he'll be our first exhibition of this year. So we're really looking forward to that. And that's an oil on canvas. Fabulous. Uh, yeah. yeah, really nice. No, amazing. And so the artists are at these shows and things, and you can actually oh, absolutely. meet with them. And, yeah, that's amazing. And what I, I do, I went at an opening event, I always introduce the artists to people who come to the, to the opening night. Um, you know, they enjoy chatting and talking about the artwork. And it, it takes that stigma out, but, you know, it's just yeah. it's an enjoyable experience, especially if you're, you know, somebody just starting off, you know, to make it kind of relaxed and you know, meet other people, bring a friend, always bring some people because that makes mm -hmm. it um, more interesting and enjoyable. Yeah, well, it's a lovely way to spend an evening and yes. absolutely get to learn new things. And as you exactly. say, the galleries, they are beautiful places just to browse yes. and spend a bit of time. Um, absolutely. Just amazing yeah, things well. can be done at the moment. Yeah, I exactly. mean, yeah. somebody yeah. can come in on their lunch break, you know, it's nice and quiet, looking at some art, it's good for, it really feeds the soul. Brilliant, brilliant. So look, are you open again, Catherine? Yes, um, uh, we are, uh, as they, they brought forward um, the, the phase for shopping centres, we're in Paris mm -hmm. Court on the second floor and they have it well organised. Um, the centre is open for Monday, but I'm just waiting for a screen. So I will open on Wednesday. Now Fantastic. the times okay. are reduced from 11 in the morning till 5. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, Paris Court opening hours and they won't be open on Sunday. Okay. So from 11 to 5 from next Wednesday. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much uh, this morning. You're very for welcome. Your fabulous I'm tips. Sure Absolutely. Thanks, and look, look forward care. to seeing you soon. Thanks so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye.